Located in Isinjo district, Lake Nachivale serves both the refugees in Nachivale refugee camp and Uganda nationals in the area next to the lake. Isinjo district is a district with a big water body called the Nachivale Lake. The lake has been under threat due to massive pollution due to silting of following massive deforestation during the setup of the camp. The coming of refugees, especially in 1994, the other war in, in Rwanda, which brought many people now, they ended up cleaning and killing the environment. Akiteng Constance, an environment assistant officer in Nashivali refugee camp, attributes the increased encroachment on the wetlands around Lake Nashivali to increased population and loss of soil fertility in most parts of the camp. Due to high population rate, wetlands have been encroached, and because the soils here in the camp, in the settlement, have lost the fertility, people have resorted to cultivating around around the lake. Cultivation up to the lake shores, access and illegal fishing by both the refugees and nationals just made the situation worse. Now, the refugees in Nachivale Refugee Camp in Isinjo District have taken the lead role in the conservation and protection of the lake, the biggest water source to the camp and the surrounding areas. <laughs> Conquete <laughs> Akiteng Constance, the environment assistant officer, accuses local politicians of frustrating the efforts to conserve this beautiful lake. Where nationals have settled, uh, there is a lot of encroachment and uh, when we are implementing this activity of wetland restoration, there is resistance from the politicians. I want to appreciate the refugees who have complied. They are doing activities away from the lake 200 meters and some trees have been planted. Despite the efforts by implementing partners to support the refugees save Lake Nakivali, environmentalists say this isn't enough to save the lake. The schedules of the National Environment Act, it, it has a recognition of a 200 meter buffer zone from the lowest water mark. We had earmarked 200 meters along the lake shores of Lake Nachivari. Even we had to make sure that the first part of the buffer zone, we promote their tree planting. We allowed the locals to come and do seasonal cropping under the trees so that the trees can mature. And then we get a buffer zone of well vegetated area. But it is very unfortunate that for the refugee side, people recognized the buffer zone. Then the area which is under the jurisdiction of the nationals, they are misbehaving. 